Hey everybody, in this episode, we're gonna get some more hands-on experience with the list box inside a TK Enter. So the previous video, we gave an introduction to the list box, how to add elements and remove elements, but now I wanna do it a little bit more dynamically. I want to have an area to type in a value and a button to say add to list, and then I wanna be able to go select items from the list and remove them from the list. So that's the goal of this video a little bit more substantial and it's gonna add some complexities and it's gonna get even more complex in the next video because we're gonna start working with objects inside of the list. But these are all very practical things, especially if you're doing database applications or just general business applications. Very commonly, you'll need to work with data inside of a database. So the two pieces I think we need are an entry to type in text and then a button. So let's work on that entry. So we'll say TKA enter dot entry, pass in our TK object from line four, and just leave it like that. And then we'll just say entry.pack. So let's just run this, make sure it's working, that we have an area to type in text, and we do. So next up we can make a button. So we'll just say button is tkinter.button, pass in our TK object. And then for text, we will say, add value and then lastly command which is what we want to happen when we click the button and we will not use any lambda or anything in this portion here since we're not going to need to pass any arguments what we can do is we can just say a function name don't invoke it so we'll just say add to list and we can create that function so def add to list and we'll just say pass for this moment. Let's pack this button and then run it. So button.pack, I always forget that step. Run this and you can see we have an area to type in and then a button. Let's also create a button to remove a value. So to do that, we're just going to copy this code here, paste it, and this is going to say remove selected value. And I'm just putting selected there just so it's clear that we don't mean to remove whatever you typed in here. We don't want people typing in here and trying to remove from the list that way when there's an easier way. And then the command, we can just say remove from list. So we will create that function as well. Def remove from list. And we will say pass. So let's run this, see what it looks like. And we got an add value button as well as a remove selected value button. Inside of the add to list function, what we're gonna do is we're going to say entry.get, which is going to get the value from the input. And what we can do is we can use this to add to the list. So let's scoot that down for just a second and say listbox dot insert and we can insert this at the end and then we could take this cut it paste it right there clean up the formatting make sure everything is nice and clean and now let's try it we type in a value hello click add value and it shows up right here we can keep doing that if we want and every time we run this application, it's going to have a fresh start. Next video, we'll talk about database use to maintain values, but for now, this is fine. If you want, you can clear out the entry by saying entry.delete, saying zero to start with, and then all the way to the end to stop. So let's try this, see if it works. Say hello, hit add, and then it clears out that text. Either way is up to you if you want it to stay there then that's fine, otherwise you can delete it using this code here. All right, cool. Now to remove from the list, we first need to understand how data is retrieved from the list. So to retrieve data, you would say listbox dot curse selection, or what does that even say? Curse selection? I, I'm not sure, cursor, so is that short for cursor selection? Or maybe it's telling you that you need to curse election, whoever or whatever that is. Anywho, let's just print this data. So run this. 
let's put some data in here to begin with. We'll put pizza. We'll select that and hit remove selected value. And we get this weird tuple inside of the terminal. What even is this? Well, I honestly don't really fully understand this, but it's a tuple that has the index as the element there. So let's add a couple other values. You know, got to keep it all about pizza here. So let's try the second one and we remove that. Now it's one. So you can actually use this tuple to remove data fairly easily. So to do that, all you have to do is say listbox.delete and then pass in that value. So we will take this, cut it, paste it right here and get rid of that print. So let's just try this. We'll close out of this and run it again. We'll add a value in there such as pizza, select it and remove it. Hey, it's working. Let's get a little bit more practice adding some other stuff in here. And I'm gonna be putting some new foods I've been eating. So yesterday I ate some bone broth. I mean, I drank it, but also some kimchi. I think it's spelled right, which is like fermented vegetables. It's really gross, but super healthy. Oh yeah, also a 12 pack of donuts. My favorite restaurant of all time. Add that, and now let's just delete something in the middle, make sure it's working. Awesome, yeah, it seems to be working. It's not deleting the wrong stuff or not working at all. And yeah, it seems to be good. Now, if you wanted to, you could possibly modify the add value to add at right after the position that you have selected. So as an example, let me add a few other things in here. If you had this one selected and you added a value, it would put it after that. But that's like some minor details. That's the kind of junk that developers tend to put in ahead of time when their application isn't even correct or meeting business requirements. Or to translate that, I don't feel like it. So we're just gonna move on to the next video where we're gonna start working with objects in this list box and how to store those objects in a database. So a lot of good juicy information in the next video. And we're gonna be pulling in some code that we created earlier on in this series. Stay tuned and be sure to subscribe.